DMM Technologies Multi-Axis CNC Package is the optimal solution to any machine tool application. Our DYN series servo systems are suitable for milling, turning, router, or any general purpose CNC requirement, combining the industry's fastest setup, highest performance, and efficient cost to get your machine running. The DYN2 and DYN4 servo drives are general purpose pulse, analog, serial interface and are compatible with any motion controller, CNC controller, or PLC with these command options. In this video, we will be showing the comprehensive setup instructions using our DMB4250 breakout board and Mach 3 as CNC controller. Our CNC package includes all base electric components and achieves plug and play connections in between. This includes the servo drives, servo motors, power supply, breakout board, emergency stop, proximity switches, and all cabling. This demo system consists of one DYN4 axis paired with the DST 750 watt servo motor and two DYN2 axis paired with the DST 400 watt and DHT 750 watt servo motor. Note that this demonstration only includes the core components. Please follow the respective product manuals for detailed connection and wiring diagrams. The system supports 110 to 240 volts AC levels. Connect the main supply to the 48 volts DC power supply in the DYN4 servo drive. The DC power supply is used to power both the breakout board and the DYN2 servo drives. If the system is using all DYN4 servo drive, the breakout board still needs to be powered by 24 to 48 volts DC independently. Adjust the selector on the DC power supply to match the AC input level. When using the 1 kW high capacity power supply, short the selector terminals for 110 volts level and leave the terminals open for 240 volts level. Connect the 48 volt DC output to the breakout board power in port. Then, from the power out port, network to each of the DYN2 servo drives. This provides the main power supply for the breakout board. The 48 volts also goes through smoothing reservoir capacitors to improve power stability for the DYN2 servo drives. From the DYN4 servo drive, use the MO255 cable to connect to the breakout board axis output. Use the MO512 cable to connect the DYN2 servo drive to the breakout board axis output. Connect both the DSUB25 and USB cable from the breakout board to the controller PC. The DSUB25 cable communicates the I.O. signals and the USB cable provides an isolated 5V power supply for the breakout board. Note that the breakout board needs two power sources, one 24 to 48 volts into the power in port and one 5 volt provided by the USB cable or into the PC 5 volt port. Connect each proximity switch to the breakout board limit inputs. Connect brown into V out, black into in, and blue into ground. The e-stop circuit is normally closed. Connect the red side of the e-stop switch into breakout board e-stop port ground and in terminals. Connect the encoder and motor power cables to their servo drive pair.
the system is ready to be powered on. Verify all connections are correct before powering up the first time. When power is turned on, the power supply, DYN4, and DYN2 servo drives should all indicate normal operation with the green LED. After the system is powered up, we first verify that the servo drive is in the correct settings. Connect the tuning cable from the servo drive into the controller PC. Open up the DMM DRV program and read out the servo drive settings. Make sure the drive is set into pulse direction command input mode and position servo mode. If not, select these settings and click save all. Continue with this procedure for each servo drive in the system. The DYN servo drives are ready to go and now we configure the CNC controller. The DMB4250 breakup board has a pre-configured Mach 3 XML file to automatically set all I.O. parameters and ports and pin settings. Copy this file into your C Mach 3 directory. Launch Mach 3 loader. Select the DMB4250 profile and click OK. The program will boot up in emergency mode. Click Reset to clear the emergency. When you click Reset, make sure you can hear a clicking sound coming from the breakout board physical charge pump relay. Each time the program goes into or clears emergency mode, the charge pump relay engages or disengages. This indicates the system is in normal operation. Once the emergency mode is cleared, jog each axis to make sure it's running. The system is now fully set up and detailed adjustments can be made according to the machine specification.